Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to chapter two. Volk has been frozen in carbonite and he is about to start a very special, unique and unforgettable dream. I have always loved the stars. Your death is too good to be true. You can't fool me. Deception was not my desire. You deserve truth. You are much more than merely a Jedi. You have earned my respect. I followed you here so we might speak undisturbed. You're not planning to propose, are you? Do not play the fool. The galaxy changes. And we must change with it. You're true believers. You gave their lives purpose and meaning. A lost soldier. A mechanical servant. A doubting Jedi. The broken healer. And the unrepentant traitor. They were useful when you did not know yourself. But now, you are complete. Even a powerful Jedi is better when they have allies they can count on. Yours already forget you. You want to isolate me. It won't work. Each day they drift further out of reach, without a center to hold. Without us, the galaxy and all within it spiral into chaos. What's happening to me? The carbon freezing was imperfect. Your body is poisoned. Dying, old foes have come to take your life. I'm not afraid. None of this is real. Illusions can kill. If you want to live, you must fight. I believe we have all noticed that uh, all of my companions were present in this dream. Apparently they are starting to forget me. But what was, what was more troublesome was the fact that they all had no weapons. Here is another funny thing I have discovered. When you hide the user interface, the picture suddenly becomes bright as clear day. But when you go back and activate the user interface again, you will notice that this dream kind of uh, blurriness around the edges reappears again. You may have also noticed the weird voices. This is again because we're in a dream. A very quick check shows us that we are actually not allowed to use any companions. And we already see a progression here. Darth Maar, who's supposed to be dead, is still present here as an active companion to the main character. Unfortunately, that's kind of a hint that he may not really be dead. Although, you probably know because you hopefully have read my post and Bioware's blog post, some companions apparently are allowed to disappear, leave you, or die. They will not die killing mobs for you in a normal trash pool. They will die within a story arc. But anyway, this is now possible somehow. I have not yet experienced it, but I'm eager to do that soon. And I must admit, I love the design of the Skytroopers. 
The helmet is a little bit weird though. It reminds me of one of the robots from an old TV animated shows, uh, Beast Wars. Whoa! Angrao and Lord Tarni, seriously? They are ghosts though. And in each one of the character stories, you get to fight two different ghosts from their past, from their origin story. If you haven't played the origin story of the Jedi Knight, you wouldn't know when where these two come from. But they will still be here. My mission to reach my companions continues. You spent your life walking the Jedi path. This is where it led. Was it worth the journey? The Order warns against forming attachments. But I can't let them die. <laughs> Save you, Jedi. It is a cradle of corruption. I never understood how you could serve politicians. I defend peace and justice. Protect the innocent from harm. And they squander your sacrifice. Why continue to help? What do you hope to achieve? It's never been about me. Perhaps it should be. There is greatness in you that cannot be denied. You are a far superior leader to any Chancellor. I won't bother explaining democracy to a Sith. I am no Sith, and democracy is overrated. This Republic is not worth saving any more than my Empire. We have a greater purpose. I'm loyal to the Republic. Nothing you've shown me will change that. You refuse to see the truth. It will cost you. You failed to defend their home. They will not forgive you. I only fail when fear controls me. Republic. Empire. The Eternal Throne conquers all. You cannot stop it. Save yourself. Millions dead because of you! Did you hear my companion screaming? Side mission to revive fallen citizens. Pay attention, please. We're reviving them by just healing them one way or another. Not like on the Empire side where my Sith warrior was buzzing them. No, wait, actually, I think I'm mistaken. The animations are absolutely the same. And there is no reason for me to kill all of these mobs. The bonus quest is not about killing them, but I just enjoy doing it. Why not? It will extend by a few seconds, maybe up to a few minutes. 
the gameplay sessions of these stories. And at least the first time they are all entertaining. If you have to do the exact same story with the exact same fake or not so fake choices, it will definitely become boring after the second, third, fourth playthrough. I have awakened or actually revived to be more exact 5 out of 10. There is no need to finish the bonus quest except maybe the EXP reward. But I am determined to have absolutely every single quest and its bonus uh, attached to it on Volk. On the rest of my characters I don't care too much. I must admit it's a fun fact that I'm collecting money while dreaming and being frozen in carbonite. There is no need to keep repeating that they've lost everything because of me. Okay, I understand it. Congratulations to Volk, he's just leveled up for the very first time in Fallen Empire. He should spawn very quickly. The fat Jabba trainer learned Blade Blitz. Blade Blitz is a brand new ability. Every class gets a new ability. Not every, there are a couple of exceptions. At level 61, Blade Blitz has a cooldown of 45 seconds and the description goes as follows. Quickly rush forward 20 meters, uh, keep in mind it's exactly 20 meters, it's not going to your target, it moves exactly 20 meters ahead. Dealing weapon damage, in my case the upper damage is 2452, just for a comparison, my gear has not been changed, it was very well optimized, uh, 198 before the expansion but right now because of many mod changes my stats are completely different I haven't tested yet to see what the optimum uh, combination would be but there is time for that it will happen soon so it's doing weapon damage to enemies in your path and increasing your defense chance by 100% while blitzing cannot be used while you are immobilized or hindered for that last part, you have a special new utility available for you to spend if you want to be able to use it. Let me demonstrate you actually at some point how exactly this thing works. That would be a suitable moment. See? I didn't even reach the enemy. You can use that, I believe, without a target. And without killing the guy, I would like to have a chance and test, maybe on the next one. I will have a chance to test the ability, because that's something I didn't do. No authority but your own. No obligation but to yourself. Do not be afraid. Admit how good it feels. These visions, are they real? Will course and fall. What does it matter? We are on Zyost now. This is the next part of the dream. Another very small map with a very nice looking colossal. Alright, so let me demonstrate if and how Blade Blades works. Yeah, obviously if you hit an obstacle on your path, it will not progress any further. But the fact is you really don't need a target for this ability. It's just another uh, mobility ability. It doesn't do much damage. It, it actually performs similarly to Saber Throw. But uh, as a matter of fact, it's far inferior compared to that ability, if you ask me at least. It does less damage. It has a much longer cooldown. And uh, it moves the character. Not always moving the character is the best and better preferable decision. Maybe for PvP, yes, but for PvE, almost never. Unless you want him to move manually. I found Valkorion. The 
Zaios. The world where everything changed. For me, you, the galaxy. You killed every living being here. They died, opening my eyes to the truth. I have passed beyond death reach. Everything dies. Even you. Our flesh is not who we are. Voices, hands, children. I no longer require those crude vessels. At long last, I am truly free. Your freedom cost millions of innocent lives. You're nothing but a monster. I am a part of you. Now more than ever, I have done all I can to preserve your life. Why would you do that? You are a part of me I wish to keep. This, my friends, right here was one of the fake choices present in the game. Why you have to walk, uh, watch the other walkthrough to understand what I mean. So far I have uh, a Seat Warrior walkthrough as well. And very soon I will have many more. Depending on when you're watching the video, I may have already all the walkthroughs available for all the classes. The Colossal Monolith, I don't know if it's a Colossal, no, it's just a Monolith. It's not really a challenge for any kind of player. You are the only one who has ever matched my will to survive. It's not about survival. I have a war to win. No, it ended long ago. leads to attachment, and that leads to the dark side. Your thinking remains limited. A pity. You must deal with my errant son and daughter before they ruin everything. I knew you wanted something. You can't stop them alone. They are deadly and worse. Lack discipline. Do not underestimate their threat. It will take both of us to undo the damage they can inflict.
Your daughter sees me. Valen was always my favorite. What is it? Interesting. Your daughter doesn't trust your son. She trusts no one. This, my friends, is how Chapter 2 A Dream of Empire ends for my Jedi Knight Volk and his light version of the storyline of Fallen Empire. Thank you for enjoying the video together with me. I will see you for Chapter 3 Outlander.